Hello and welcome to Catch a TV. Thanks for watching. In this episode, you'll join my mate Ashley and I in our quest for the Southern Calamari, the most prized of all squid in the Southern Oceans. Ashley is an absolute squid guru, and he shares a few of his special spots here on the remote east coast of Tasmania, Australia. You'll learn how to catch these magnificent creatures, and then I'll show you how to transform them into a tasty meal. So sit back and enjoy our Tasmanian calamari adventure. Our calamari quest leads us to the coastal town of Swansea on Tasmania's stunning east coast. Oh, it's actually got a jam in its throat. Yeah, it's not even... But the first thing to devour our squid jig is a hungry parrotfish. It's not even reach right down the lead. It's not much. It's only a drop on the lead. So actually, how do you know it's a squid? Well, you can see how the rod's just pulsing. It's got a steady pulse to it. It actually looks like an arrow. Yeah, an arrow. Yeah. So this is good because this will explain the difference. Right, what we've got is an arrow squid here, which is not really what we're after. It's a pretty big example of an arrow squid, yep. though. So, what's the difference between an arrow squid and a calamari, a true southern calamari? Well, arrow squid's got that long, slender body, and um, it's got very nasty serrated discs on its suckers. These arrow squid are actually really, really aggressive. If you look here, if I just put my hand down here, he'll try and he'll actually try and bite me. You can see him trying to turn his head there. Now, these arrow squid are what you'll typically find in a restaurant. They're cheaper to buy than the true calamari, but they're, and they're sold as calamari, but they're not as good. The key to catching calamari is to retrieve the jig slowly in a series of stop-start retrieves that allows it to rise and fall gently. I've got a soft plastic on here. I'm just about to go. Ashley's using one. He's got a fish on. What is it, Ash? I'm uh, calling it for a mate, but it might be a small parrot. No, it's actually small, small parrot. parrot. Small parrot fish. There we go. Yeah. Also known as wrasse, parrot fish are common in these parts, living and hunting amongst the kelp weed, and they will attack just about anything. It's just a small male parrot fish of blue head. And yet they just love these soft plastic things, they just can't get enough of them. Another arrow squid. These aren't really what we want. We want the real calamari, but these are a good, good as a backup. Good second tries. We've run into a patch of arrow squid here, and they're not calamari, but they are good fun, and they're not bad eating. So we'll just get a few more, I think. Well, it seems at the other spot we were catching pretty much everything but calamari. So we've actually moved down the shore to another spot that Ashley knows, and we're hoping we'll fare better here. I've got a really good squid on this time, I think. Good calamari. There he is, just out there on the surface. Let's bring him in slowly. It's a good sized calamari. Here he comes. 
only on by He's only on by one tentacle, so I'll just grab him in the water. There you go. Beautiful. So you can see here we've actually got a proper southern calamari. They've got the green eyes there, you can see, and the full wings running right down the side. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up or not, but there's these iridescent blue lines that runs around the inside of the wings. Absolutely beautiful. Cleaning fresh calamari is simply a matter of pulling off the head, which if done correctly, will extract most of the innards along with it. Make sure to keep the legs though. Then slide your fingernails between the wings and body and gently remove the skin. There's a bit of a knack to this. Next, try to remove remaining innards by slipping your fingers inside the tube. Remove the backbone, which resembles a plastic feather. And finally, you can roll the tube inside out like a sock to remove any remaining innards. It's as simple as that. All parts of a calamari can be eaten, including the wings which you can tap to tenderise. Taking this tube of calamari, I'm just going to split it out firstly. And that opens out there. Cut him down the middle. Now with this piece, I'm just going to lightly score it and that'll help to tenderise it. The trick about scoring is not to cut all the way through, you just go halfway. Now I'm just going to slice it thinly. In Japan, the true calamari is a real delicacy. And what they do when it's this fresh is basically just prepare it in the way I have done here and have it just with soy sauce, not even wasabi. You don't need it. It just, it's such a subtle flavor that the soy sauce is all you need. I'm just using a light Japanese soy sauce. It's important that you use the right soy sauce for the job. Now let's just try it. It's just so sweet, subtle in flavour, with a beautiful texture. It's magnificent. Here, Ashley, try. Okay. It doesn't need the wasabi at all. No, it's very good. Mm. Spot on, mate. Okay, so I've got the other half of the, of the tube here, as you can see, and also the wings and the legs. So again, I'm just going to score the tube lightly, and then just slice into small pieces. Note the translucent colour of really fresh squid. It's a mile apart from the shop-bought stuff. Okay, that's been on for no more than about 45 seconds and it's done. You can see it's got a beautiful white colour now. So, nothing left to do but eat. Oh. This is a slightly stronger flavour now that it's cooked than the piece we had when it was raw. What do you reckon, Ash? That's absolutely spot on, mate. Beautiful. Absolutely. To 
think that this was swimming in the water not 25 minutes ago. Not anymore. We're going to turn our parrotfish into delicious fish cakes, so we've scaled and filleted them, removing the skin and bones. Chinese restaurants love to sell these fish live and steam them whole. Yeah, the parrotfish is done. We've got some more squid in the well, so we're going to go back to the house and cook up some tea. Nailed it. That was gold. fish cakes with a beautiful homemade mayonnaise. We've got the Asian style salt and pepper squid legs with a homemade sweet chili sauce. And we've got a simple salad, side salad to go with it. <laughs>